This lesson is on using OPACs, or Online Public Access Catalogs, or the keys to the library. So an OPAC, like I mentioned, is an Online Public Access Catalog. Um, and OPACs are essentially online databases that show the materials that are held by libraries. Um, users, in this case you, use OPACs to locate materials uh, by searching by fields such as author, keyword, title, subject, etc. Before we actually look at searching within Shelton State's OPACs, I do want to talk a bit about search strategies um, and how you would go about searching effectively within uh, these online databases. Uh, the first thing is building search terms. Um, even the most basic of searches, which are subject or keyword, you really need to think about what you're searching for and all of the different ways you might could say it. Uh, think of synonyms, think of related phrases that might help to return relevant results. For example, if you're doing a paper on the dangers of drunk driving, um, and if you search drunk driving as a keyword, you're going to pull um, some results. But think of the other ways in which you might say drunk driving driving under the influence, driving while intoxicated, drinking and driving, alcohol and driving, etc. So by including all of these different search terms and actually setting down and thinking of the different ways that you could say it, um, you're going to pull more results that might work better for, for your speech or your paper. Uh, the second strategy is exact phrase searching. Um, and this is when you're searching for a phrase within a database, put quotation marks around the phrase. Uh, the database then knows to pull results with that exact phrase. For example, um, if I search civil rights movement, just civil rights movement in Encore, uh, that returns 157 results. So these results, though, are results in which the words civil rights and movement appear somewhere in the record, but not necessarily together in that order. Um, by putting quotation marks around civil rights movement, um, I actually return 92 results within Encore. And all of those 92 results contain the exact phrase civil rights movement somewhere in the record. So you can see that by using phrase searching, putting those quotation marks around your phrase, you can eliminate a lot of sources that you actually don't need to even, even look at or consider. Um, the next search strategy that we're going to talk about is actually Boolean operators. Um, and it's just a fancy word for something uh, that is actually a really good strategy to employ. Um, Boolean operators are and or not, um, and they're words that you use to connect words or search phrases um, within databases. So if you use and, um, in between two words, so poverty and crime. Uh, it's actually going to retrieve results in which both search terms are present. Okay, if I use poverty and crime, I'm going to pull results where poverty is mentioned and crime is mentioned. And tends to give you less results. Notice the Venn diagram. The shaded area represents the results that you would pull back by using the and Boolean operator. Look at OR. You use OR to retrieve results in which at least one of the search terms is present. Um, OR logic is most commonly used to search for synonyms um, or synonymous terms or concepts. So if we were looking for college or university, we wanted results that used either of those two terms, we would use OR. And of course the shaded area here on the Venn diagram represents the results you would pull back or is going to give you more results okay so college or university would actually pull all of the results uh, that use the word college or university and then our next one is not um, use not to retrieve results in which only the selected term is present so cats not dogs would actually only pull results that had the word cats in it and not cats and dogs. Um, and of course on your Venn diagram here the shaded area represents the results that you've pulled with cats only and no dogs. You can combine operators. Um, when you do use parentheses um, to combine them. Um, when you use parentheses around a set of terms the search engine processes those terms first. Uh, then use, you can use 
your next logic to combine that result with the second term or set of terms. So in this example, cat or felines is our first, and it's in parentheses. So the database is first going to pull all results that have the words cats or felines, and then it's going to employ the operator and and pull your results that have the words cats or felines and behavior. Boolean operators can be difficult uh, when you're first beginning, but like many other things um, in information literacy, it does become easier with practice. 